Hi, and welcome back to Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands. We last left off, um, I said I was going to go into the casino and make some money. I didn't. Uh, I kind of ran out of time and had to start recording again. We're, it's not a big deal. Let's just get our money back. In what currency would you like your payout? Non-caps currencies will have fractions paid out in caps. Where's my mouse cursor? Caps it is. Will there be anything else? Nope. A pleasure doing business. Alright, I don't know what's causing that. Now let's learn more about that bean leader what Glove Society. How may I be of service, sir? My, such a popular question. I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. The White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course, but our pedigree was established over generations. Were we always so refined? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said yes. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. Not everyone can wear the finest clothes, and eat the finest foods, obviously. That's just the reality we live in. But surely we can agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people are the most deserving. And that's what the White Glove Society is all about. All right, can I control it this way, yeah? No, not from the likes of you, I'm afraid. I don't think you'd have the stomach for it. Better look elsewhere. Indeed. Okay. There's something. It seems gambler. that the territories are about to blow up. Hmm. Find out a bit more. Looks like there's something over here. Hopefully, the load helps fix my mouse issue. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. I do, but one can hardly call it work. I think of myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. I suppose it is a labor of love if it can be called labor at all. We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultralux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me to decide how we go about it. Hmm. Okay. Ta-ta. I know there's more we can learn. There's definitely more I can learn. Because I know of something about these guys. Oops. No, I don't want to pick the door. Oh yeah, that leads to the cashier's office. Don't want to do that. Where is it it's telling me to go? Okay, I believe there's somebody else. This guy. The... Caesar's fate was sealed. You watch from the yourself start. around, Mr. Gunderson. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? <sighs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour, and my own son just up and disappears on me. Yep, got a whole mess of Brahmins to my name. Bighorners, too. Used to just have the one ranch, but land was easy to grab before the soldiers moved in. 
Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. A lot of people out there resent success. I'd want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been thinking, though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Club folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Hmm. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. That's between me and the White Glove Society. But let's just say they control the food supply around here, and I got lots of food to give. But that ain't as welcome as you might think. That's what they call themselves, the folk that run this place. They're the ones dressed all fancy with their bow ties and shiny dresses. Some of them got masks, too. Real hard to trust folks like that. A couple of them show their faces, and that's who I do my business with. I don't talk to none of the other ones. I'll be here. <coughs> okay, now... Oh yeah, quest, quest, quest. Uh, okay, now we gotta talk to people. Gambler ain't gonna do me any good. Welcome to Top Shelf. The drinks cost twice as much during happy hour, but they draw twice the attention too. My mouse is back. Adieu. It's like, no thanks. Oh, there's an arrow. A, on the radar. Let me head that way. Alright, it's not you. It's probably this door. Alright, let's go look for Ted. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. What else? Mr. Gunderson and I have been discussing his livestock. It's put us in a rather delicate position, you see, his coming here. Not that we aren't grateful for his generous offer. But our executive chef, Philippe, has transformed Brahmin steak into a delicacy. He really is a genius. Everyone wants it. But a delicacy is just that, delicate. If everyone can get it, it ceases to be a delicacy. It becomes a perfectly ordinary staple. And if the gourmand serves staples, it would no longer draw the caliber of people it deserves. It would be a diner or a family restaurant. So as much as we'd all love for there to be enough steak for everyone, I'm afraid there are more important things to consider. Um. Really, you can make more money by doing that, you dumb bitch. <laughs> this again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the charter. Um, human flesh. Alright, but yeah, I mean, if you make it more common and it can sell to more people, you make more money. 
There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Why, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, that is. I had our maitre d' Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see? The White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances, though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say that. Ta-ta. All right, let's go talk to that other guy. Yeah, I... Even as a lie, I would never claim to eat human flesh. I mean, that's just... Good day. Oh, I gotta talk to How you. How may I be of service, sir? Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? Of course, of course. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. Okay. Ah, yes. I've heard that one too. Jealous people say such nasty things. I feel sorry for them. Uh. I can assure you that the only thing the White Glove Society is guilty of is preparing the tastiest cuisine you'll ever sample. That is, of course, if you can afford it. If you head back to the hotel rooms... Okay. Indeed. Let's go... Find the investigator. Should have bet we killed the fiend's leader. All right. Gambler, and he's talking about betting. Come on. So up the stairs. The investigator has been killed. Okay, come on. There we go. Matchbook is a hollow tape. Uh, not quest miscellaneous. The following is for all the matchbook steam room 4 p.m. Eat this. Oh, fucking white glove. I'm not very good with my fists, but I should be able to beat their asses. I wonder if uh, batsing it will help. 
kick his ass. Well, at least I'll have a melee weapon once I take these guys out. Come on. You're not going to be able to kill me because I got tons of healers on me. I said, open. There we go. It beat my head in a bit. Uh, items, aid. Uh, fresh apple, grilled mantis. Now that's AP. Anything to increase my melee strength. I thought I just saw something that said damage. Did I? Hmm. Nope. All right. Enough? Nope. I will kick your ass. If only my sneak was better, I could have snuck in a weapon. Bastard. Come on. My unarmed is terrible. Come on. Knock the fucker out. Come on. Shit. This damn block caused me not to be able to swing for a few moments. Okay, let me... Alright. Uh, weapons. Come on, go ahead. Strike me. Oh, that does a big difference. I can kill him a lot quicker with that. But they can't really do much to me. I can repair. Alright. And actually, let's put that there. This way I can unequip it so it's not just hanging out in the open. Alright, let's continue on. Obviously there's something going on if uh, they're trying to kill me too. Bathhouse. What's that? Eyeglasses. Catalan cowboy hat. Oh, that's a dead end. So not where we're looking to go. Probably gotta go through this way. No, it's an elevator. Hey. What? I heard they brought in sea salts from California just for this bath. Where is it they got me going here? Uh, data. World map. Local map. Apparently there's something... Hmm. Something behind this wall? Oh, bathhouse, 4 p.m. That's right, remember? So it's 6. So that would equal 6, 5, 4. Let's wait here and see what they're talking about, bathhouse, 4 p.m. Probably don't want to be in here when that happens. Or do I? Who are you? You don't know? Oh, good. That's good. 
So they didn't send you after me. Where's the gentleman I'm supposed to meet? Oh my goodness, me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Mortimer, if he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. Yes, the White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans, but we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. The girl, the one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. Because I distracted her fiancé while they took her. Well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the White Gloves began meeting privately a while back, started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. He's alive, as far as I know. I'm trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping them near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. I could sponsor you as an honorary member, but I don't know that you've achieved the level of status that would gain the society's approval. Perhaps, if you were to gain some more notoriety on the Strip, we could get you in. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... what if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. They might. But to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. <coughs> wow, excuse me. Okay, so, whoops, I don't... Um, I don't know it, but how do I get out of the conversation? There's no exit. Tab's not getting me out. 
Tab's not getting me out. We've done this. Here we go. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait. Did you hear something? Were you followed? Shit. Assassin, huh? All right, let's take this guy out. There we go. There we go. Now we got a pistol. Now we need to sneak in. Yeah, I know. Now we need to try to save this guy's life. Though I think I might be able to get a weapon from the old man. Requires key. Where's the old man now? He was out here, right? Let's go talk to the old man. I feel bad for the informant. I know he's doing the right thing. You hear the Tell me good news. He's here? Bless you. I thought he was a goner for sure. Listen, you do what you gotta do to find him. I'd send my men with you. But I'm worried they'd kill Ted if we got close. Reckon you might need one of these. Take it. Just don't wave it around here where they might take it from you. I'll be here. All right. Now we got a shotgun. I knew going to see him was the worth it. All right. It's the members only section. I would need a key. My sneak sucks. Hidden. Damn it. Let's head over this way. If I can get in that way. I guess he might not have the key I need. Come on. You? Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Why, yes, of course. The White Glove Society is the most exclusive club in all of New Vegas. Perhaps the entire world. It's only natural that you'd need a sponsor from within the club, who can vouch for your good name. Originally, we didn't allow anyone else in, you see. Founding members only. We thought exclusivity would make us the envy of everyone, who's anyone. And it has. But then I had the idea to allow honorary members. Lower in status, naturally. But it just makes people want to be us even more. And the right people could certainly do wonders for our image. Celebrities, philanthropists, we want only the very best. I'm afraid you are a relative unknown. Certainly not the caliber of person we would consider for such an honor. Not yet, anyway. If you had more notoriety or clout here on the Strip, things would be different. People need to have heard of you, and you must be well thought of. Okay. The answer is still no, I fear. You need to be the talk of the town, really. Think big. Your name should be on everyone's lips. Come back then, and we shall welcome you with open arms. Uh... Ta-ta. Okay. Can't quite do that. 
look positively famished. We simply can't have that. You won't find better. Wasteland on that. That seems fancy. Pleasure speaking to you. All right, now turn around and don't see me while I pick this lock. I didn't even look to see if I was detected at all. I was. Did I lose karma for that? Okay, Boone. We got our work cut out for us. Can I talk to these guys? Wow, that's an odd way to cook steak. I guess I don't have to kill him. Ultra Lux Kitchen. Not the way I probably want to go. It's, it's probably... Kept out of the norm area. You, you, what do you think you're doing? First he's too trusting, now he doesn't trust any of us. It addles the senses. I suppose caution is the desirable course at this point. It's all of our necks if something goes afoul. Okay. Where is he? I guess he's down here, right? Through here, maybe? No? And not keep them tied up in the stall, right? Ah, here's the. Oh, yep, yeah, back out here, the inaccessible door. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. Who do. Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm the fucking god of New Vegas Brahmin Fusion Cuisine, that's who. No, no, that doesn't even give me the credit I deserve. I fucking invented edible food. Do you like eating? Good. You owe me your entire goddamn garbage existence. Oh, really? So despite your filthy face and your vacant expression and your complete lack of human dignity, you're telling me you're not a server. What kind of harebrained fucking psychobabble bullshit is that? I yell at people because I like yelling at people and because they fucking deserve it. Not because Mumsy and Daddykins didn't hug me enough. Oh, I see how it is. You think because my father walked out on us when I was five, now I have to yell at people. Or because my mother was a deranged chem fiend who regularly brought strange men home who told me to call them uncle. Or because my sisters would lock me in a shipping crate when they didn't want me around. And my brother... God, I'd forgotten about that. How could they do that to me? I can't stay here. I need to be alone. Forget about the fucking banquet. You know what? You can do it. You be the star chef. Take my recipes. It won't fill the hole, though. Just remember that. You'll always feel empty. Alright. <coughs> Confused the hell out of them. Alright, so we're actually out of time. I should have ended this probably a few moments ago, but uh, really got into it. So, I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really enjoy 
if you did subscribe check out my new videos as they come out and as always thank you for watching i will see you next time bye now